What's up, everyone? This is El Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5. Last time, we finished off the last of our confidants that is not story related. We did a few other things, including finish reading up all the books in the entire game. So, we are just doing a pretty good job just finishing off every little miscellaneous thing we have left to do. In this episode, there's still a few other miscellaneous things that we have hey, left to me. do, but before we do any of that, I'm gonna head on into the Velvet Room real quick. It's been a little while since I last checked in on my personas, but your turn, Caroline. Oak should be ready. It out yep, with a new skill. Stronger now. You want to let it out? So he gets null ice. Precisely what I wanted, and we can. Well, I'm not really going to be using the fear ones, so we can get rid of Ghastly Whale. Cool. Make a choice in me. Okay, now it's just a matter of who do I want to put in there now. If I can't get anything with light skills... I mean, there's Narcissus. Narcissus or Satanta, or even Naga. Do I have anyone with no wind? I've got someone with resist wind. Uh, sure, we'll go with Naga. So it's this for oh, I'll take good care of you. Are you finished? May as well just have those we'll personas learn a couple extra skills that I can pass down to other better personas. Anyway, where are we off to today? Well, first things first, we are going to head on over to school again. Because we are a day late in terms of our plants. No, not the Makoto! Shoot! Don't want to talk to Makoto. Going to the rooftop to go and see Haru. Because our carrots are ready, let's go and pick those. Good day. <laughs> and that's another three carrots for us. How many carrots do we even have, anyway? Uh, do 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 do. We have 20 carrots! <laughs> and we're still gonna make more. Is this overkill? It's absolutely overkill. We really don't need this many carrots. But, I'm still gonna get as many as I can anyway because the option is there. Uh, I actually went through that pretty quickly, but I think she said the 11th? The 11th, okay. Good to know. So, where are we off to today? Well, we are off to Yongen Jaya today. Because today, we are going to be spending our time with Futaba. I did mention last time that uh, there was a second gift associated with Futaba, and that this is actually the last gift that we can actually get. So we are going to be hanging out with her. Yeah. And where exactly are we off to? Where, where we are off to today, if I turn my notes, is Asakusa. Now, Asakusa is interesting because there are two places that are associated with this hangout spot. There's Nakamise Street as well as the Sky Tower. Where we are off to with Futaba is Nakamise Street. I'll go. Let's go then. Hmm. 
Hey, look, a ninja! Huh? What? Yeah, now that you mention it. I'm a bulldozer. <laughs> I am really bad at remembering these things because this is definitely has a unique spot in the room. I am really bad at this sort of thing. Anyway, we do have a gift but we're saving this for Haru, so now. I'm going home. Later, Futaba. So with that, we are now finished with all of the gifts. We have all the gifts that we can get minus two. So let's go ahead and put up the... Wait, did Morgana say something different? Hmm. Anyway, we've got the I Heart Tokyo shirt. Even though it focuses on the TV, it's on the workbench. Hmm. So yeah, again, I'm really bad at remembering all this crap, especially here in late game. So anyway, we now have all of the gifts that we could potentially get. We've gotten all of the gifts on the shelf. We've gotten all, even though they're technically not gifts, we got all the crane stuff. We got the stars on the ceiling. We've got the I Heart Tokyo shirt. We got the arrow there, the Risei poster, and any number of different things that can go here. So, we have essentially gotten all of the gift items. Minus two. Now, the reason why uh, like I tried to get as many gifts as possible is because there are some gifts that have very specific criteria. We've got the Kumade there that was available only with that specific instance with Haru, as well as the Shogi piece there, which is seemingly only available if you hang out with uh, Hifumi for the second time when you are specifically at rank 8 with her. So those are specific in terms of time frame. But there are two other gifts that we could potentially get that we are unable to get. The first is associated with Shinya. For Shinya, I believe you essentially have to take him to Destiny Land. But there's a little bit of a problem with him. For one, in order to get the gift, it has to be the second time that you are hanging out with him. The second criteria is that you have to be at least rank 9 with Shinya. So either rank 9 or rank 10. The third criteria in order to get this is that it has to be on a holiday. And there aren't really that many holidays especially later on in the game. In fact, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure there's only two specific days that you can actually get. Because not only does it have to be a holiday, it also has to be a day that Shinya is available. So I think there's really only two days that you can actually get this item on top of needing to be rank 9 with him, which means you kind of have to focus pretty heavily on him. As well as hanging out with him before. So, it's a lot of work to do. And it ends up just being an item that you put in this spot anyway. 
The second item that we were unable to get is nowhere near as convoluted, but is kind of impossible of how I'm kind of playing the game. And it actually deals with Kawakami. To get Kawakami's item, you need to take her to Seaside Park. I'm not sure if it's like a first or second hangout. I think all it is, you need to take her to Seaside Park. And I feel like it's one of those. Either the first or second time you hang out with her. But the special criteria that's associated with Kawakami is that in order to take, I believe, any confidant to Seaside Park, you have to be dating them. So to get Kawakami's item, you have to be dating her in order to get it. Which, yeah, considering that I chose not to date Kawakami and I'm not going with a harem route, that kind of made things impossible to do. But those are the two items we were unable to get. Otherwise, we've got every single gift item in the game. Filled out our shelves and done pretty much above and beyond what we could do. So now this place really does feel like home. Anyway, what are we off to this evening? Well, we actually have free time this evening. I don't think there's really any place to go to that we haven't been to already. So, huh. You know, I've got two things that I think I want to try to do. If I can't do this, then I've got a backup plan. What I want to do involves heading on over here to Shibuya and going down this back alleyway. Oh, hey! What do you want? So we've got any number of different accessories here that we can buy from this guy. And depending on our charm, we've got, well, a lot of things that we can buy. So, unfortunately, it doesn't really say what they do. But there's any number of different accessories here. So anyway, what I want to go to is the gym. So, I believe you can only go to the gym once you've actually worked out in your room at least once. And, again, I completely forget what things do because I apparently lied again in terms of SP. In which going to the gym raises your HP and your SP. So, hooray for me not remembering anything in the late game. <laughs> The thing with the gym, though, is that it does cost you money per visit, but it is a lot more effective than working in your room, and it gives you the SP boost, like I erroneously, unlike what I erroneously stated, you know, when we trained in our room. Uh, protein does work as well, but it costs like 2,000 yen, two or 3,000, and I'm not gonna pay for stuff like that, so let's go. And it gives us a quick travel spot. I'm surprised you remember considering that was several months ago. So yeah, obviously you also need to get far enough in Ryuji's confidant in order to do this. But considering he's like the earliest confidant in the game, that's not really a high bar to overcome. Oh. Yay! 
I can't feel my nose. All right. So we increased our max HP a little bit. All right. As well as our SP. Want to head back? I need some ice. Also, thumbs up if you got the reference of the protagonist running. That is, in fact, a reference to something. All right, so what are we off to today? Well, first things first, we're gonna check the TV again. officer and knows kung fu. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> so yeah, weird that they're just throwing in all these different references right at the very end of the game. Like I know we had a couple at the beginning, but yeah, kind of odd. Anyway, what are we off to today? Well, there's not really a whole lot for us to do. Um, but we are off to Aoyama Ichome. Because we can head on over to the roof like always, and we can spend our time today with Haru. I know there's a few other things that we huh? could potentially do, but I'm kind of <laughs> saving those for when we can't hang out with Haru. So we're going to hey. hang out with her, we're gonna go somewhere yeah. fun. Last time we took her to Harajuku, and today we're gonna take her to Ong Ogikubo. That text is kind of small, so it's kind of hard to read, but we're going to take her to a ramen shop. Let's go. Now, shall we go? For some people, it's actually good manners to slurp loud. But I wouldn't worry about anyone else. Eat however you want. You're correct. Oh, 
Oh, you're welcome, Haru. still have one more gift item so even though she doesn't have any unique dialogue we can at least still see the generic line here I got you this thank you so it still gives you a lot of points but yeah just a generic line of dialogue now shall we return Sweet. More armor. Cool. You all know what that means. Time to clean it at the laundromat without costing any additional money. Okay. And then proceeding to sell this stuff so that way I can make even more money. It's weird that, like, this is actually a bit of a, a little bit of a convoluted way to make money. But it is here. And, I mean, as long as I can just buy this stuff at Shady Commodities, like, I can keep on doing this. So, anyway, what exactly are we going to be off to this evening? Well, first things first... Shady Commodities is calling my name. So let's go ahead and buy some more classified armor. And the corrupt gear. And there we go. So what are we off to this evening? Well, this evening we are actually just going to stay here and play some video games. So let's go ahead and place us play us some Starfornius. Okay. Well then. So this is when you can actually activate the cheat codes. So the cheat code for Starfornius is that you don't need to put as many button inputs when it comes to the button mashing section. So obviously we're going to use the technique. like it. Let's do this. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, 
you pretty much get the same amount of time, but instead of 15, I believe it's either 25 or 30. It gets really hard. Trust me, get the cheat codes if you're going to go with the video game achievement. <sighs> but it's not like it doesn't really matter all that much because you still get, I believe, the same amount of points. All right. Even though Morgana says it wasn't very exciting, it not like it really matters, it just makes things easier. Yeah. And from doing laundry, do we get any female armor this time? Nope, Magellan Robe and Steel Chef Vest. What? Well, actually, the Steel Chef Vest isn't bad. Because it's unisex, and it is better than the Magellan Robe, which is what the other girls have. So I guess it's not too bad. No, I know, trust me, I know what I'm doing. So anyway, what are we off to today? It's not the palace, if that's what you're thinking. Instead, we are off once again to Aoyama Ichome. Because Haru is available for a lot of days. It's actually interesting just how frequently she is available. But then again, she is a late game confidant, so you kind of okay. need a lot of time in order to actually, you know, get it done in a reasonable manner. So, where are we off to with Haru today? Well, last time it was Ogikubo. So today, it's gonna be Akihabara. Let's go. Well, 
was really cool, huh? Yes. <laughs> All right, see you later, Haru. Ah, uh, you're back. Okay, well, before I forget, let's see. I mean, I suppose I can give either On or Makoto the Steel Chef Vest, so I'll give it to Makoto, I suppose. Okay, so what are we off to today? Well, again, there's not really a lot to do in the evenings, because we've pretty much done everything we could. Although I suppose if we wanted to catch the Guardian again, we could very easily do that. But there's not really much of a point in fishing, and the soul vest isn't really worth the effort to get. So instead, we're gonna watch some TV. What else should I be? Please don't take off my mask, revealing dark. Hey, relax. It's still not election day yet. We still got time. But more importantly, we're gonna play video games! Meaning we're gonna play more Starfornius. Of course, we're gonna use the cheat because we really need to use the cheat for this last one. Time to butt mash. Mm-hmm. No, that was way too easy. Oh. Let's go. So yeah, it's not like I still don't think you get any big boost at the end. All right. But hey, I mean, just getting extra stats as you play is still a pretty good reward. Oh.
think with the internet, though, that'd be, like, well documented. I mean, honestly, it makes no sense because you could very easily just look it up on the internet. So, yeah, but hey, at the very least, we now have a shooting card. So what does that mean? Well, we'll see come tomorrow. Yeah. Day moves on to Sunday. Hey. Okay, so first things first, we are going to check the TV because Shopping Network, which is a hunger charm. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what that does. I feel like that would inflict hunger. But it's also crazy expensive and I don't really need any additional accessories. So, where are we off to? Well, first things first, we're off to Aoyama Ichome because our carrots are ready. Now, Haru isn't here today, so we can't spend our day actually, you know, hanging out with her. Which is fine because there's other things that we need to do today. I just love the circle that's right there. That's just kind of like this, hey. like a, a lens flare. It's like Haru's in the very center of that. It's like, oh. <laughs> it's, it's just the way that the lens flare does that. That makes that so funny. Anyway, we got some additional carrots. Haru is still within the lens flare. <laughs> With a rainbow that encompasses her. Because Haru is a magical girl. No, not really, but she is a Persona user. I'm having too much fun with this. Anyway, what are we actually off to today? Well, first things first, we are off to Akihabara. First, checking the arcade to see that there is no additional thing in the crane game. Just in case you were wondering. But there are a few other shops that, well, are here. Well, I'm pretty sure we've actually entered through all of these at some point or another. But one place that we haven't been to in a while has been the Retro Game Shop. I guess the postcard kind of makes a little bit more sense that you need an original copy of the game. But still, like, as long as you have that. No, well, whatever. This is what those cards are useful for. So, once you beat a video game, you can go to this retro game store and you can get an exclusive accessory for a reward for beating the game. And there's any number of different games that we can get. Now, we already saw Punch Ouch and the Train of Life, but there's also Golfer Salutariko and Power Intuition. So, plenty of games for us to get. Um, I believe there are just six video games in total. There's Star Fornius, there's Gambler Goemon, and there's these four right here. So... I believe those are all the different video games that are available. Um, 
trying to think what exactly. I guess I can get punch out to show that. Well, actually, not really. Like, I could buy some games and then just kind of do stuff with them. But there's not really a whole, like, much of a point in me doing it. Again, there is an achievement for playing and completing all of the retro games. So, if you're after that, even if you are, like, going to reset the game after you do it, you know, just because you don't really need to spend the time to do all that, you can. Anyway, what is the Forneus accessory? The Forneus badge gives a high evasion to physical attacks. Which is actually pretty decent, all things considered. Um... Trying to think if there is anything that I could do. Let's just reduce physical damage. Um, no, I don't think so, but it's a neat accessory to have. So anyway, what are we off to today? Well, I mean, there's various places for us to go. Uh, I believe the only place we have actually haven't gone to is the Meiji Shrine. Um, yeah, that's really the only place we haven't been to. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out the shrine. <sighs> so, at the shrine, praying here essentially does the same thing as praying at shrines in previous Persona games, where it will increase your bond with the selected confidant. It's kind of similar to what Chihaya has in terms of her ability, but the difference is Chihaya you have to pay 5,000 yen, but doesn't take up time. Whereas with this, you don't pay anything, but it does take up time. So, yeah, it's kind of weird that they have both. I feel like this was maybe a relic before they really decided all of Chihaya's abilities, but, I mean, if you want to save your money, you could. But, I suppose it's not really free if it says large donation. What do you want to do? So, if we go for the bonds... Okay, so yeah, it's not as much, and you can even choose for nothing. So, obviously, the more you contribute, the uh, more points you get. So, I guess it's not fair to say that you don't pay anything, you just pay less. But again, takes up time. So we can pray for any single confidant that we want. Uh, <laughs> now let's maybe go for someone that maybe a little bit different. Um, let's pray for Sojuro. Why not? So yeah, you get a lot of points, even more so if you have a matching... At least I... Do I have a Hierophant? Ah, you're oh. back.
off. Regarding what? I mean, it's brainwashing in a sense, but it's not literal brainwashing. It's not like he's going into the metaverse and changing everyone's, like, perception or anything. But that is something that a charismatic leader can do, is basically convince people to put all of their faith and trust in you and cease to think for themselves, overriding any sort of logic or even like any sort of thought and just blindly worship just a figure and that's incredibly dangerous not scrutinizing uh, people who would be in charge and again ceasing to think for yourself and just putting blind faith in a particular person or ideology that is dangerous. It's incredibly dangerous. Anyway, I'm curious. Do I have a Hierophant? I don't have a Hierophant. Huh. Interesting. So, no money still gives me a decent chunk. Alright. It could be that the shrine gives you even more points than what Chihaya could potentially give you. That is always the option. Plus, I think there are other side effects that can happen when you pray at the shrine. So, it's not just, you know, it's not just getting comped on points. I think there are other random events that can happen, and they're more likely to happen if you put in some money. But I don't need any of that, and I want to save my money, so we're good. Um, let's see. In terms of what to do this evening, uh, there's really not a whole lot to do, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, I mean, what I have written down is to play games, but there's really not much of a point to go and play games. Uh huh. I mean, I don't exactly know what to. Well, actually, hey. Even though we could play some video games, because we do still have one game to play, there is something that I actually haven't done yet, and that would be to head on over here to the movie theater here. So, there are, of course, just more movies that are available to you. But we've never actually seen this movie. And I think the ticket is a bit cheaper compared to the ones in Shibuya and Shinjuku. 
But this was sort of a reward that we got for completing that quest about the guy who's trying to kick out the old people who own the theater. So it is another option to you if you still need quite a bit in stat boosts, and just like the other theaters, they do switch out movies every now and again. So we've been to the other theaters. Let's maybe see the inside of this one. Well then. Also fast travel point. Merry Christmas, Sergeant. How are you finding that new workout routine? Christmas? This is more like Christmas. Oh, winter's frigid enough already without those cool puns of yours. For that, give me ten more reps. <sighs> A Japanese soldier never gives in. Useless guts. But we weren't here for the guts, we were just here to see the inside of the theater. Alright. Kids these days. Running out of time, but we'll get this done. Oh, 
Okay, well... As Ana is very much aptly putting it, we are running out of time. We have less than a week before the election, which means we need to get a move on on stealing Shido's heart. So, next time on Let's Play Persona 5. The time has come. We are done with all of our preparations. We've maxed out all of our confidants that we can hang out with at any rate. And we've done pretty much most of the different side activities that I want to do. There's still a few other things, but they're miscellaneous and not really all that important. So, next time, we begin our infiltration. It's time we steal Shido's heart. So until next time, everyone, take care.